Folks, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. And to that end, I'm gonna give you a sock tooth Christmas special. And uh, and, and now we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in that the that old school uh, CBS that twirls in for the for the television special. It's all bongos and shit. You know what I mean? It's just, and it may be my face. All right? All right, good. We gonna do it. You gonna love it. You ain't gonna see this part. You see the other part. All right, now it's time for a sawtooth Christmas special. And sawtooth get in the holiday spirit by uh, remembering something he saw through a window uh, once on a on a television set. It was these uh, little children, and they, they was called peanuts. And they was you know running around and, and talking to each other. I, now I couldn't hear what they were saying to each other because I was outside the window because what business do I have being inside a window? But I watched it, it seemed real nice. What happened in this Peanuts Christmas special? There's a young bald child in a, in a yellow shirt, Satu, picked up some skills in his lifetime. And he know how to read animated lips. You may not think he do, but he does. So I can tell you for a fact that this boy's name is Charlie Brown. And Charlie Brown loved Christmas, right? He seems to enjoy himself. And he's telling everybody, telling his dog, telling his sister. And this young man, he toting around a, a, a blue blanket. Oh, much like this one. I believe we call that a spiritual coincidence. He telling everybody how he liked Christmas and everybody hate him, presumably because he bought. And from time to time in this here Christmas special, it would just completely cut out to the dog. And the dog would be running around doing whatever he want with this little yellow bug that flying around next to him. Now they ain't got lips to read because everybody knows dog ain't got lips and bird only got beak and insects only got proboscide. And this little yellow creature ain't got neither. So I don't know what they was up to is what is they saying. So Charlie Brown decides he gonna get himself some holiday. He talked to all his friends and one of them charged him money for it. Charlie Brown decides he gonna get himself a tree. And these other, you got these them and you got these other kids what eating the snowflakes what fall out the sky. The only thing I'm gonna eat to fall out the sky is a void what died of natural causes. And it's natural for me to throw things at voids. And they dancing around like maniacs while one of them plays piano irrationally good. He can't be more than about six years old, but he playing piano like crazy. And the dog dancing and the insect dancing and Charlie Brown get his tree and he says, I love this tree. And everybody says, you are a piece of shit who can't buy a proper tree. I don't know what their problem is, but Charlie Brown needs to get himself a better grade of friend. He says, I'm, I'm gonna make this tree good. And he takes a bulb and he hangs it on top of the tree and the tree goes, boop. It's a sad sight. Charlie Brown is upset. And so he wanders off. Now, here's the part that don't make a lot of sense to me. His friends, who all been watching all this transpire, wait for him to wander off before they fix the tree. What kind of people is he associating himself with? Oh, he's sad. Well, let's watch him fail. Now let's watch him leave. Now let's fix his failure because of Christmas. The young boy with the little blue blanket got up and gave a sermon about Jesus. What are we even watching? But I'm gonna tell you, there's something about it. All these disparate elements, the eating the snowflakes and the sermon about the Jesus and the tree that don't wake and the Charlie Brown, which ain't nobody like, and the dog, which is just a big question mark in my head. All this comes together and make me feel like it's Christmas. It make it, it put the season in my heart. When I think about these little big old head critters just running around, talking to each other, dancing like maniacs, eating snowflakes and charging their friends to talk to each other. It's, it's real strange, but you know you know what Sawtooth say? Whatever wake for you. And this holiday season, that's what wake for me. So go and find this strange acid trip known as the Peanuts Holiday Special and enjoy yourself whatever your holiday you like. <laughs>